This entrance to this new museum is a replica of the front grille of what was once one of the most famous cars in the world, the Packard Automobile. Oh, yes. We call it the American Rolls Royce, I guess you would say. Martin, who has just stepped down as president of the Board of Trustees, has seen the museum grow from a storefront operation into this new building near the Packard Music Hall. Well, Warren's the home of the Packard family. The Packard brothers who founded the company here in 1899 were born here, raised here. While the name of the Packard automobile is fading into history, many of their innovations are still with us. Now here's a good example of what isn't new, and that's the tilting steering wheel, because in 1903, Packard would allow you to come in and sit down, and then, of course, bring the wheel back up and drop the collar. And then there was the electric push-button transmission that they pioneered in the early 1950s, and there were many others. Well, the torsion bar, for instance, uh, or the... Uh, the um, automatic leveling system that they had in the 50s. And there was a styling in the size of the cars. And just look at the size of this thing, how big it is. It's a whole lot bigger than my Nash Metropolitan. You know, this was a show car in the 1952 auto show. Of course, the big flashy cars also reportedly attracted gangsters who liked their speed. And you know what this is down here? This is an extra storage compartment. It's supposed to be for golf clubs. But they say that some gangsters stored machine guns in here. The Packard Museum, keeping alive the memory of the car whose motto was, Ask the Man Who Owns One. It's just a one-tank trip away. I'm Neil Zerker, Fox 8 News in Warren, Ohio.